Rasa sadhana is really about reprogramming your brain. You may have, have people here seen this movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? No? It's really advisable if you want to get like a, a little idea of how your brain functions. And they show that very nicely, easy to understand for anybody. And there you see that these threads that I was describing earlier between nerve cells, they are not static. You continuously create new ones. And you can thicken those new ones until they become really like brain highways that you can very easily take. And if you have developed such highways in a negative sense, through past experiences, then you are able to, by Rasa Sadhana or any Sadhana by the way, to change those emotional brain patterns. So that a person, maybe through, I don't know, difficult childhood, has developed really like an immediate anger response to the slightest kind of, you know, attack on his personality, could change that here, really rewiring, you know, through Rasa Sadhana. And reprogramming the brain, really, that's not science fiction, that's, you know, happening all the time, whether you want it or not, whether you're conscious about it or not. And Rasa Sadhana is really a way to be conscious about it. You know? and to really reprogram your emotional responses. And it works that way. And after some time, you will find, wow, you know, this person did this, and I hardly noticed, you know. I just did whatever was necessary to maybe escape, or, you know, find some solution, but hardly touched me. You know, that is something. And, you know, I'm very normal boy, like, I'm nothing special. So, you know, if I can do it, you know, everybody in this room can do it. It's really not that difficult. But you have to make a start. You have to start, and you start small, you know. It's like, uh, you know, when you want to learn the lotus posture, you don't do it for an hour the first time, you know, because you're going to be in problem. You know? Likewise, in anger sadhana, most people will be able to do one day. You know, you can always be angry tomorrow. And then one day, you know, you just make that promise, okay, I'll try it. And you will see how easy it is. And that you just do for some time, maybe one day a week, why not? Or two days a week, for some time, and you realize not only <coughs> on those days it is easy, but you start actually having the same kind of attitude quite rapidly throughout the week. And when you feel that is happening, when you feel that generally your anger level is like coming down quite a lot, then, okay, make it a week. Promise it to yourself for a week. And after that week, you say, wow, you know, you look back and you, you almost can't believe it. You know. And then make it a month. And then make it three months. Then make it a year. My first anger sadhana for a year started like 1st of January. Like, I had the choice. I could stop smoking or stop <laughs> anger. <laughs> and I stopped anger, you know. I thought that would be more healthy. Yeah. Did you stop smoking? No, I didn't. I should. I know. <laughs> so, uh, it really works. And, you know, there was a lot of talk some years ago, like, about positive thinking. That's still, like, an issue. You know, think positive. That's what today ladies' magazines probably are, you know, teaching you. But most people feel, yeah, okay, you know, but it's not very effective. If I'm worried, you know, it doesn't help to think positive. You know, I'm just worried, I can't help it. So Rasa Sadhana is not positive thinking, it is positive feeling. It is really learning to feel okay. And then we're actually coming to the other part of the job, which is to work with your positive feeling should not only be a negative approach. No? And the best way, of course, to get rid of any negative feeling is to create a positive feeling. 